Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Tom Spark. Welcome back to another video. Today, anyways, what we're going to be talking about is a Brave browser. We're going to be talking about some of the updates to the browser, some of the news that's been going on with it. As always, you know, I'm a uh, content creator with Brave's platform. So if you go to brave.com slash Tom352, um, you can actually download Brave and use it for free and it'll help support the channel, which is really cool. Not really any other program out there like that. I'm not sponsored by them or anything like that. Um, but I do like Brave. I think it's the best private browser. So this video is going to be talking about some of the upcoming um, developments as well as some of the news that's been going on with Brave the last month or two. So one of the interesting things that Brave has now implemented is that basically when you start up the browser or anything like that, you're going to see like a widget for Gemini trading. Now, what is Gemini trading? Well, it's basically a well-respected kind of cryptocurrency trading platform. It's going to look like this. And what you can do is connect to Gemini and you can pretty much use the cryptocurrency you earn from using Brave by viewing the Brave specific ads to earn BAT. You can then convert that into any cryptocurrency you want. And it's really cool to see a widget just kind of functioning like that on Brave. As you can see here, it's pretty cool. Not only that, but when you guys download Brave and I earn some cryptocurrency from that, I can even put it in my Gemini wallet and trade it for different currencies as well, which is really cool. So that's a pretty cool update that they've implemented. A lot of people kind of hated on Brave because they had partnered with Uphold, which is kind of like a cryptocurrency wallet kind of platform. A lot of people aren't a huge fan of it. So it's good to see them adding additional options for people who don't like Uphold or other ways to kind of store their BAT that they earn from Brave, whether through being a content creator like myself or just from using Brave and viewing the privacy friendly ads on the platform that will get you some cryptocurrency just for having that feature enabled. Now, of course, all that's optional. You don't even have to view any of these ads or anything like that or even mess with the cryptocurrency, but it's cool that it's here. And I like how cryptocurrency is kind of like a cool focus of the Brave browser. Next up, we have a update concerning Brave Sync. This is a Sync version 2.0. It's available for desktop and Android users, letting you sync multiple data across different devices, such as bookmarks, passwords, autofill data, history, open tabs, extension themes, settings, and applications. So that is pretty cool. Um, you could just sync everything you want across different devices and it kind of looks like this. I heard a common complaint about Brave before was that the sync didn't work very well. So hopefully this one works better and is a pretty big improvement for the people who didn't want to use Brave because it didn't have good sync. Perhaps that's not an issue anymore. Another interesting partnership that Brave has kind of implemented is that they partnered with Bitflyer, which is kind of like a Japanese based cryptocurrency exchange. So in this partnership, they say we will co-develop a crypto asset wallet in the Brave browser for users in Japan who will be able to receive um, basic attention tokens or BAT for viewing Brave ads. Using the integrated wallet, which is expected to be released in November, Brave users will be able to buy or sell BAT on Bitflyer as well as tip bat to publishers and content creators. So that's pretty cool. I don't know if anyone here on the channel is in Japan, but this could be cool for you. Now, another big development about Brave is that they have a new kind of Brave VPN experience partnership with Guardian. This is going to be working on iOS and Android. This is a paid VPN. Now, I actually tested out this VPN here on the channel and I wasn't that impressed with it, mainly because it doesn't even have a PC component. And overall, the entire experience is just lackluster when compared to other VPNs on my tier list in tier one and tier two. Um, so if you're looking to use a VPN, I wouldn't really recommend Guardian VPN. It is interesting to see this partnership. But again, it's not my favorite VPN. I just thought it's an interesting development. So the cool thing about Brave is that it's being constantly updated and they're implementing all these partnerships and stuff like that, which is really cool, especially for cryptocurrency fans and stuff like that. But for people who are using Brave specifically for privacy, um, this is cool to see updates like this. They've done some cool things like remove known tracking perimeters from URLs. Um, so that's pretty cool. And they have more information about all the technicalities of all these implementations. Another cool thing is that they have changed how it handles the referrer or refer um, policy. So apparently the previous approach would often break websites and require users to turn off shields and lose privacy protections. But the new approach greatly reduces the number of broken sites, which still aggressively, while still aggressively protecting your privacy. So this is something I've noticed before is that you actually have to turn off the kind of shield or protection. I've noticed something similar with AdWord blockers our um, ad blocking kind of software like uBlock Origin, sometimes you have to turn it off. So it's cool to see that they're making it kind of more compatible and you don't have to turn off like the shield. It just works better. 
Another cool update with Brave is that they're now starting to roll out Speed Reader into the Brave beta browser. So you can download the beta version of Brave and start testing it out. It's actually pretty cool. I'm gonna show you some differences right now, what it can do. So you might be wondering how does Speed Reader work exactly? How well does it work? It's pretty cool. It's kind of like Apple's version of it. If you're familiar with their kind of um, text friendly kind of interface kind of thing, you could do similar on there as well. But Brave, I think, does it pretty cool as well. And it's supposed to be safer and less ads and faster and just look better. Basically, what you can do is turn it on up here with this little button. And then when you go to a page like this, this is what the page is going to look like without it enabled. Um, kind of clunky, lots of stuff here. And then when you click on Speed Reader, this is what it looks like. So it's much easier to read, much quicker, and overall just a better experience for reading articles on the web and a cool feature to finally see implemented in Brave. Finally, we have a few updates about Brave's success in the last couple of months, especially this year. Although there probably is a component of this success being attributed to just more people using the internet because of COVID-19 being stuck at home all day. But it is cool to see that Brave has passed 15 million monthly active users, 5 million daily active users, showing a 2.25 times um, growth in the past year, which is really nice. So with things like Firefox having constant layoffs and stuff like that, it's nice to see a browser that seems to be doing well. So guys, Brave Browser has made some pretty cool improvements in the last couple months and pretty cool updates. Now, a lot of them I don't really like, like the Brave Browser VPN, and I think they kind of screwed up making that partnership with Guardian, which is kind of like a no-name VPN provider. They didn't really explain that much why they partnered with them. But overall, I do think that Brave has made some good improvements and is still my favorite browser to recommend here on the channel. As always, if you want to support the channel, go ahead and click on links down in the description down below. Visit vpntierlist.com if you need to pick a VPN um, for my unsponsored, unbiased reviews. And I'll see you again on the next one very soon.